rubies are a popular gemstone that can be hard to value if you don't know what you're doing. In this video, we'll teach an important lesson for how to identify top quality ruby. Here's the scenario, you're in Thailand at a ruby dealer's stand. You find this 2.1 carat specimen with a few inclusions on the sides, but clean in the middle. The dealer tells you that it's a fine, pigeon blood, red and clarity grades SI1. He's asking $750 per carat for the gem. He does not have a GIA report for the stone. You check the stone with your Chelsea filter and it gives a red reaction. Your experience tells you the clarity grade is about right but you question the dealer's color grade. Next, you consult the International Gem Society Gem Price Guide. You find that rubies of this size and clarity go for $2,600 to $6,900 per carat in the good color grade and $750 to $1,500 for fair color. So, is this ruby a good deal? On the one hand, a 2 carat ruby with so few inclusions is a prize. On the other hand, the hue is the real concern here. This stone shows a pinkish red hue. If the stone showcased more of a pure red hue, this gem would have made a great deal and you would definitely buy it. However, with this hue, some buyers may consider this a pink sapphire, and the stone isn't nearly as valuable if it is considered a sapphire. A pink sapphire with this clarity will be tough to sell. Contrast the pinkish red hue with this 2 carat GIA certified pure red unheated Burmese ruby. There is a big difference between these two gemstones. Here are some tips when you find yourself negotiating with a dealer. First, take a color master stone with you when shopping because our eyes are very poor at color recognition. You can also use a cheap, synthetic ruby for this purpose. Second, you can't determine gemstone value without accurately judging color. With potentially high-priced gems like rubies, a subtle difference in shade can make a tremendous difference in value.